Okay. What's your name? Sai. Sai Hargis. For the economy and jobs, you said on your website that, like, I forget the specific number, but a large number of jobs cannot be filled because of education. How do you plan to fill those jobs and improve the, the economy? Well, we've got to make, you know, education accessible for more for more young people. I mean, why did it why did it get so expensive? When I was in high school, you know, I went to uh, the US Merchant Marine Academy. It was a public federal academy. But I, my my parents were both police officers, and I don't remember that they were in this like state of panic in in trying to figure out how to pay pay for my brother's education. Uh, you know, today education a uh, college or university education is often so expensive it's unaffordable uh, for people and but to fill these jobs we need an educated workforce so we have to figure out what happened how did how did school get so expensive and what can we do to make it more affordable uh, you raised most of your money through well all of your money through non-corporate PAC money what's corporate PAC money and why is that bad for America well, that's a really good question. So campaigns are financed in a number of ways, congressional campaigns. And state laws are different. But under federal law, a congressional campaign can legally accept money from individuals and political action committees. And a corporate political action committee is a group that is uh, set up to support the goals of the corporation. Uh, as a candidate for the United States Senate, for my first day announcing that I was going to do this, I made a pledge not to accept corporate PAC money. And the reason is that if you're accepting money from a corporate PAC, which is money really coming from the corporation, then you may, when you get to the United States Congress, feel somewhat beholden to that corporation. And it is, in my opinion, it is one of the biggest problems we have in trying to solve uh, the issues that our country faces is corporations financing campaigns. For the next question, what was your, uh, what was the most surprising thing you found out when you hit, when you got into space? Uh, you know, I'd say the number one thing is the first time you look at Earth as a planet, so you're now in the vacuum of space, you're circle in the planet at 17,500 miles an hour from hundreds of miles and you see this big round ball just floating there and there's no borders between countries and you see a very thin atmosphere over the surface of our planet you know so thin it's almost like a contact lens on an eyeball and you realize how fragile this system that we all live in and you also realize that we're all in this together you know, all seven and a half billion of us, we pretty much live on an island in our solar system. And people shouldn't be like confused, like there's no, you know, there's no planet B for us out there. I mean, we're all not going to move someday. We're not going to terraform Mars and move to it. I mean, people have these, these notions that some, someday we could do that. If we're ever able to do that, it's so far in the future that it doesn't matter. We really need to do a much better job taking care of this planet, and it needs to start today. Okay, thanks. Right. Be excellent. Yeah, you too. <laughs> thank so, you. thank you for Great allowing time. us to do this on sh such short notice. Right. So, well, thank you. Great job. When are you guys going to air this? Uh, probably this next week. Okay. All right. You do a little editing? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Make me look good. All right.